Welcome to the Observers Direct, the show in which we go meet our observers in person. This week we go to Dresden in eastern Germany. The city is home to the Pegida movement. That stands for Patriotic Europeans Against the Islamization of the West. Now, since October, they have held weekly rallies against what they see as the threat posed by Muslim immigrants to German society. Our observer works with refugees who live in the city. My colleague Julien Pain went to see him. Hi, Julian. How are you? Good, Good thanks. So, what is it? Here? What's going on? Yeah, we make a Yinzo. We organize a football game for refugees on Sundays. It's very popular. We wanted to start something up because there's very little in the way of leisure activities for refugees in Dresden. Germans have become more openly hostile towards refugees since Pegida was formed. And it's got worse in recent weeks. There is a lot of racism in Dresden. A lot of prejudice. Not just towards asylum seekers, but other communities too. A lot of the refugees here are from Syria. Ever since the German government announced it would take in immigrants fleeing war-torn regions, the number of asylum applications has risen significantly. Eight Syrians have been placed in this refugee housing. They submitted their asylum applications four months ago and are still waiting for them to be reviewed. Hello. Once I'd arrived in Berlin, I went to the refugee center. They entered my details into a computer. And then I was transferred to a different city. I stayed in a shelter there for a month, and then they sent me to Dresden. The Germans, they transferred you to Dresden. You didn't want to come to Dresden. No, I had no choice. Most people are friendly and helpful, but some are racist. I hate to say it, but it's true. There was a German man at the tram stop the other day shouting, Arabs shouldn't be allowed on the tram. We didn't come here to stay at home and claim social security benefits. We want to work and contribute to the German economy. The Pegida movement targets refugees, its greatest fear, the Islamization of Germany. And yet less than 1% of the population here in Dresden is Muslim. There are only three mosques and there's always a packed congregation for Friday prayers. The Chancellor said Islam is part of Germany. The Muslims must show people the true side of Islam. The importance of being a good Muslim and living alongside non-Muslims, Christians, Jews. Yes, tolerance. Today's theme was the acceptance of others. We're really uneasy at the moment. When our wives or children go into town, we are afraid. And it's not just asylum seekers that are vulnerable. I've had German citizenship for some time, but I'm still uneasy. I'm from Dresden, but my wife is black, and I'm scared too, so I know exactly what you mean. That's right, it's a hostile atmosphere. 
That's my son. Passers by call him foreigner. But as you can see, he's German. He has a German passport. His mother is German. So Dresden's small immigrant community is uneasy. We head to the Dresden suburbs to meet a Pegida supporter and find out more about this sudden rise in anti-immigrant sentiment. I'm a qualified mechanical engineer. We have four children and as my husband earns a good living, I don't have to go out to work. There are refugees that stay here despite being refused asylum. That's one of the main reasons I've joined the protests. I don't have a problem with Muslims as such, with foreigners. But Islam, how can I put it? There's something dangerous about it. The younger refugees are violent, and others insult us, call us filthy Germans. Not me personally, no, but it's happened to one of my friends. Est-ce que vous vous considérez d'extrême droite ou pas, vous? No, not at all. Vous allez à la manifestation avec ça? This is a Christian symbol. We live in a Christian country, but we also have Jewish history. We head to the Pegida demonstration with Ines. People didn't think the movement would draw such strong crowds this time around, and yet some 17,000 people have gathered here at the square in front of the opera. Journalists are not welcome. But we try and talk to the protesters anyway. Guten Tag. Guten Tag. We are the French press, French media. Do you want to talk to us? Guten Tag, Guten Tag. With the French media, do you want to talk to us? No. Guten Tag. Um, French, French media. We are French media, French press. Do you want to? No, toujours pas. Some of the Pegida protesters are aggressive. As we venture further into the crowd, they become increasingly hostile. What is your problem? Take the fuck off. What do you mean? What's the... Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Take it easy, man. What's the problem with you? On a l'impression que tous les gens sont pas aussi modérés que vous dans cette manifestation. Ceux de derrière nous, par exemple, ils ont pas l'air contents du tout qu'on soit là. Yes, they're a bit extreme. They don't like the press because it always portrays the movement in a negative light. There have been 20 or so media reports, but there was a lot of selective and biased editing. That's why we call them the lying press. The rally has drawn people from a broad spectrum of society. The conservative middle class with their Christian values, workers struggling to make ends meet, and also neo-Nazis. It's impossible to talk to them during the demonstration, so we head to a local football match where the Dynamo Dresden team are playing to film with a hidden camera. Their so-called ultra-supporters, some of whom are linked to the far-right scene, form the backbone of the Pegida movement. When I say that I'm with Pegida, I'm automatically right, that's just crazy. Läuft mir vorne welche am Plakat. Da steht grundsätzlich immer ein Neger mit dabei. Der wird von der Presse grundsätzlich rausretuschiert. Jetzt bei uns gerade schauen sie mal hier die Flüchtlinge, die haben verfolgt, aber irgendwie kommen bloß junge Kerle. Wo sind die, wo sind die Familie hinter ja, den Freunden? So, wenn es Familien gut. wären, ist es ja in Ordnung. Die können bloß die Kerle kommen, die benehmen sich dann die Sau. So geht das los. In Deutschland brauchen wir eine ganz andere Asylpolitik. Es muss schneller bearbeitet werden. Die können einfach kommen und sind da. Und das Problem ist, es gibt welche, die wollen ja her, wo man sagen kann, okay, die versuchen sich was. 
aussuchen. Es gibt aber welche, die wissen, wie Deutschland ist. Wir kennen die Gesetze in Deutschland und sagen, wir müssen hier arbeiten und wir von Geld. Behind the xenophobia lies a growing general frustration. Protesters feel abandoned by the economy and by their politicians who continue to support immigration. We meet with a spokesperson for Dresden City Council to find out how the authorities are planning to deal with this growing intolerance. But the protesters, the Pegida protesters, what they do is they single out these refugees, uh, migrants, and they say they are the problem, you know, and they focus on them. Mm. Do you, do you think it's wrong what they're doing? In diesem Punkt, die der Teilnehmer der Pegida der I think the protesters are wrong. The refugees or immigrants aren't the problem. On the contrary, the percentage of foreigners in Dresden is very low. The problem is a fear of foreigners. We need to raise awareness and explain to people why refugees are seeking asylum in Germany and coming to Dresden, and that there is no reason for people to be afraid of them. But do you think this Pegida movement is dangerous or not? Ich glaube jetzt nicht, dass diese Bewegung gefährlich ist. I don't think it's dangerous. It doesn't pose a real threat to anyone or any institution. But I do think it raises important questions and issues. Let's face it, we do need to do more for refugee integration. But German legislation bans asylum seekers from getting a job, except in certain specific cases. Asylbewerber nicht arbeiten dürfen oder nur in ganz besonderen Ausnahmefällen. And with German politicians seemingly otherwise engaged, members of the public have organized counter demonstrations. The day after the Pegida protest, for example, some well known German singers and musicians staged an anti racism concert and rally in Dresden, drawing at least 20,000 people. Marvin and his wife were there, proof that different nationalities can live happily together. But they're well aware that even though Pegida is a recent phenomenon, anti immigrant sentiment has plagued the city for some time now, and it isn't set to improve anytime soon. We're going to stay in touch with Marvin to see how things develop. You can check our website for updates. And remember, we need you to help us make this program. So if there's something happening in your community you think the world needs to know about, get in touch. Maybe we'll come see you for the next Observer's Direct.